extraordinary. No, fine, thanks, fine. Oh. Okay. That strange feeling we sometimes get that we've lived through something before. And the... No, fine, thank you, fine. Do you ever get the feeling that, you know, sitting on this couch every morning, every single segment that we do every morning mm -hmm. just feels like the same segment mm -hmm. again and again and again and over and over? Mm. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, well we've actually got crazy. <laughs> we've actually got Ben in here um, for psych time. Now you're going through um, deja vu and what it means. Yeah, deja vu in French is actually translated into already seen and it's this strange sensation that you've already been in this situation before. It usually happens between once a month or once per year for most people but if you're the lucky one in 700,000 people it happens to you every day. Now do you guys ever get a sense of deja vu? I do, I get deja vu quite regularly, so I don't do think I. I'm one in the 7,000 but I get it like much more than once a month and I, I quite enjoy it when it happens because, I don't know, it's quite surreal when it happens. It, it's, it's strange, isn't it? And, and do you ever get it? I do, and especially with conversations. Like, I feel like I've been in a conversation before and I'm trying to, while I'm having that conversation in deja vu, I try and work out how it ended last time or how I thought it ended. Mm. And it'll often end the same way. I'm like, I don't know if I've just forgotten about the conversation or if it actually is deja vu. Do, are you a deja vu guy? Do you get deja um, vu a bit? The first time I ever got deja vu, I was about 18 years old. So it, it's... Um, I, I don't get it very often. Mm. Um, deja vu has been around for, for a long time and was first actually documented by a psychic mm. um, who mm. believed in reincarnation, who thought that maybe some kind of your, your previous animal had been in the same situation. Okay. Since then, there's been a couple of different explanations, in court, uh, including strange Freudian ones talking about. Um, the, the mother's breast and so forth, like he does with everything. Yeah, it relates it back to some incestuous... Yeah, but since yeah. then, psychologists have come up with two really good explanations of what they think is happening in the brain when deja vu mm. occurs. And? The first theory is um, that it's a confusion between the long-term and short-term memory. So basically, in our mind, we've got two memory, memory systems. Mm. We've got long term and short term. In short term we use all the time. It's how we remember where we're up to in a conversation. Mm. What this theory proposes is that the short term memory actually somehow gets switched with the long term memory. So you think that what's happening in the present moment is coming out from your long term memory. Right, okay. Mm. A glitch in the matrix. Yeah. A glitch in the matrix. So, so like, is it somehow the, a memory of uh, having this conversation before slides it, into the short term of having this it, conversation now? It, it, the, the conversation that we're having now can instantaneously go into long-term memory and then we can remember the long-term memory that's just been created and think that it's happened a long oh. time ago. Another theory is called double perception theory and this mm. theory um, proposes that one of our eyes actually see the situation uh, or see the, the uh, stimuli before the other eye and as we know we've got two sides of the brain uh, left and right mm -hmm. and one side of the brain might be processing this visual information slightly faster than the other one and this causes the sensation. So you actually have physically seen it before but your brain's not registering that. Exactly. That's bizarre. So, so your right eye might see something um, slightly before your left eye and you think oh I've seen it before. Wow. Now the, the second theory is to do with the temporal lobe which is right here and the temporal load is actually uh, really important with memory. So this is where all our memories are, um, right. are formed in the brain. And what this theory says is that every time we experience deja vu, we're having a little temporal lobe seizure. Does this mean, like, do all these theories mean that somebody that never gets deja vu is potentially, like, I don't know, completely fault-free? Like, their, their brain ju just works... Incredibly it, it, smoothly. It could be, um, and people who have um, epilepsy have a have a higher rate of deja vu. And in fact, before a seizure comes on, they often get 
an incredible sense mm. of deja vu. Really? Um, yeah, that. yeah. Mm. Um, and deja vu can be um, recreated as well. Psychologists have found that it can be recreated um, using hypnosis. So there's been a, a lot of um, research into this phenomena. Now, one interesting thing um, that they've found in the University of Leeds is that there's some people that experience deja vu with everything. Every moment of their life, they think they've already experienced. Wow. That is, is, it, is that a disease or is it a condition? It's called deja vu -ku. For de Deja vu -ku. Yeah. Wow. That's crazy. Thanks, Ben, uh, for telling us all about Deja Vu. That's uh, okay. Yeah, maybe we'll have this segment again sometime <laughs> in, in the near future. Right back after this. <laughs>